This is a virtual review of the Queen Vernita series of children's books from Dr. Don Minge. And today we're going to talk about four of the books in the series that you see here. Uh, Queen Vernita Visits Gator Country, Queen Vernita Explores the Ocean Near's Coastline, Queen Vernita Visits Baja Quail, and Queen Vernita Visits the Islands of Enchantment. Now there are a few more books in the series which I don't have here, but you can find all the books on Amazon.com. But we're going to talk about some of them today just so you can kind of see what's in the series because I think once you read one of the books to your child or let your child read themselves, um, one of the books in the series, they're going to want to read all of the others too. And as you can see on the front cover, the books have won many awards. You can see some of the awards they've won. And as you also can see, the books are quite colorful, a lot of illustrations. I would call them picture story books instead of picture books, however, because the you can see they have a lot more text than the traditional picture book. Although they do have pictures on every page as a picture book does. And the illustrations are colorful. I like it that in many of the books the pages are also colored. So different colored pages really make them visually appealing for kids. A lot of things to, to see in the books. Now this one we did a review for and an actual virtual book tour um, that you can see the links to below this video and you can go back and look at that follow that virtual book tour where you'll learn a lot more about all of the books and also I did a, a interview on my podcast book bites for kids with um, the author and you can listen to that as well so this book you'll learn more about that in the uh, virtual book tour. What I like about all the books though is they follow the same kind of format. Queen Vernita is, I think it says she's the queen of the Oceaneers kingdom. Queen of the Oceaneers kingdom. And in each book she's getting ready to go on a trip. And the way the format is the same in each trip or each book is that she's gonna go on a trip that's going to last 12 months. And then in each book, it tells us where she is in January and what she's doing. So it's a nice little book for kids who are just learning not only to read, but are learning the days of the week, the months of the year, that kind of thing, because they'll learn the days of the month and how they um, follow each other. And then once it gets into each month for like, this one, she comes to her first stop, and on Monday it tells you what she does, and then on Tuesday, and it goes all through the week. Then it says, you know, January's coming to an end, so now here's where she's going to be in February. And then we go through a week again in February and see what's happening, and then it says for the rest of the month, this is what she did. Now, the other good thing about these books, I mean, they're fun stories for kids because you get to see all these neat pictures and things of where she went. And I think just as a little aside, Queen Vernita is based on Dawn's grandmother. That was her grandmother's name. And I think at least when she started the books, all the people in the books were characters that were based on people that she actually knew. And uh, she gave them these names and made them characters in the book. So that's kind of fun too. So a lot of cute cute pictures and things. But also in every book, since she's going to a different place, for example, in this one, she goes to these caves, and so it introduces kids to stalactites and stalagmites, I think I'm saying that correctly, and each book does different things. This one's got a lot more that she, she finds out about sea otters and just all kinds of things here on the coast. And then this one's more like, um, oh, Hawaiian Islands, and she learns some things here. You can see the style in this one, the illustration style is a little bit different in this one than in the other ones. And then the Gator Country is where she goes down and she learns more, uh, which, you know, the French Quarter in Louisiana, and she learns about gators. But again, it follows that same format of the months of the year and then the weeks in the, in the month, and just gives us all kinds of little um, tidbits of information about these different things. So one good part about that is 
each book has a variety of things that if someone was wanting to use the book as a starting point for further investigation into a specific subject. For example, um, this one talks about a paddle boat called the, the Great Eastern. Well, kids could learn some things about that paddle boat in this book, but then they could use that as a starting point to research that and find out even more about it. Also talks about how she goes to Mardi Gras, tells you some things about that, but then they could learn more about Mardi Gras by, you know, just going off on their own. Gives you some French words, just all kinds of different details in the books that I think are, are just excellent for helping someone who's wanting to do some maybe homeschooling projects and, and needs some uh, starting on starting off points to get kids going in their own uh, direction for different kinds of research and stuff. Like I said, these are only four of the books. I know there are at least two others, and they all kind of follow that same format, which in reading language we call that sort of a considerate text where kids kind of know how to follow the text and where it's going to go. You could also call it sort of a predictable pattern in each book as well. So these are some cute little books. I think you'll enjoy, your kids will enjoy the series, whether you're a teacher, a librarian, a parent, or grandparent, or a homeschooling parent who wants to find some books that can help you with your curriculum needs um, in the classroom. This series would be great. So we highly recommend this at the National Writing for Children Center.